is um, it's like a brownie batter. Okay. But it's uh, it's it's prepared in a way that it has very little air in it, so it doesn't expand and puff up, which keeps it really rich and tight. And then by cooking it for such a short period of time, the inside gets warmed, but it does but it doesn't set. <laughs> Chef Ron Menisrio, sweet genius. Ron, what are you eating there? <laughs> this is Sally's signature dessert, and it seems like it has 50 different components. I think it is about 15. I mean, she's so cute and tiny that she packs so much into her desserts. Basically, plate of dessert condensed into a little marine cup. So okay. we've got a mango, we've got a mango passion fruit jelly that's on the bottom. Okay. We have a crumble here that's a black forbidden rice and cashew because everybody knows I love cashew. All right. Cashew crumble, some opal basil. We have a banana cremeau uh, with milk chocolate wow. also. Um, some dark caramel sauce that's on the top. Okay. As well as a 70% complexity and 75, wow. uh, I'm sorry, Chef. 65 Machu Picchu mousse on top. And then it's with cashew nougatine and then finished with some lychee and passion fruit sorbet. How many components are there? Do you know? It's like 10. Oh, look at this. Wow, look at this cream puff. Tell me about Here this. we have a chamomile and strawberry cream puff. So it's a cream puff with chamomile pastry cream. Okay. Uh, fresh strawberry and some chantilly. Okay. Here we have a matcha eclair. So it's a green like a tea that's cream. rounded. Yeah. And here we have a Darjeeling tart. So it's three different textures. Uh, everything is Darjeeling flavor. So we have a Darjeeling ganache, Darjeeling chantilly, and a Darjeeling infused nougat. Chef, those are beautiful. Thank, um, you. thank you so much. It's a great event, you know, the dessert professional does a great job. I got, I won the award uh, uh, so long ago now, I guess 2003 or 2004, wow, almost, so almost two 10 years, years ago, yeah, almost a decade already. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's great It's great to see the evolution of what desserts are and what these new chefs are for doing and the new techniques and flavor, flavor profile, the combinations, this is awesome, you know, and everybody's just so happy. It's not often all the pastry chefs are in the same room together, so there's a lot of camaraderie as well. Absolutely. Now, we'll get to what you're working on in a second, but uh, what have you tried tonight that you liked? I mean, I'm sure... Sally Camacho. Did a really cool dessert. It looks beautiful. It's like a little terrarium. Did and, you have uh, her pork buns? No, she yeah, and she, brought, she, she was buns. smart. She, she enticed people with a little bit of salty, uh, warm pork buns. That was delicious. And uh, Angela Pinkerton's dessert was really oh, great. Yeah. I loved it with the uh, with the lavender. And it was just yeah, a lot like of great texture, a lot of great contrast and temperature. It was just delicious. We do have a layer of dark chocolate on the bottom. Okay. And after we have a square of uh, almond hazelnut aquoise with a little protein. Okay. Another square of chocolate. Okay. On top is a, it's a caramel milk chocolate parfait. Okay. Little gold leaf and a salty caramel tree. Oh wow. And on the plate it's a chocolate sauce with some uh, pineapple. Wow, that's great. Now is this um is this something you've served at Danielle or is it special for tonight? It's special for tonight. Yes. And um, how come you brought this dessert here today? Oh, you know. It's it's like an old memory desert I have when I was a kid, like a candy bar. And when they asked me to do something for the event, I say, you know what? I'm going to make it this time. So that's awesome. That's it. it's, it's done. We brought right. um, cake truffles. We have they're basically little bites of the fancy layer cakes we make at Milk Bar. We have okay. pretzel cake truffles um, and chocolate chip passion fruit cake truffles. Okay, so this is like a cake, but just like in sort of a one pop, one it's bite form. It's a one form. pop, one one stop shot, which I think is super challenging, but also super indulgent because all you need is one bite. Mm. You get one bite to really get the flavor and the textures across, but I think we do it just right. So today we have the chocolate and lavender, um, we'll call it a mash red if you would like. All right. Um, so on the very bottom is a chocolate custard, and okay. then there's a lavender meringue dome that's filled with white chocolate orange caramel. Okay. Um, we have a dark chocolate cookie crumble around the edges with a salted chocolate shortbread. Okay. Uh, fresh orange zest and cocoa krispies. And then there's also cocoa meringue. Wow, that's a lot. How many yeah. components are in this, Angela? Oh, I haven't counted. Oh. Probably 10. Have 10. Uh, Angela, congratulations and thanks, thanks so for taking us through. All right.